I'm Ken Anderson with IDI Distributors. Today I want to talk to you about keeping the moisture out of the A-side drum. If the moist air can get into the drum, it'll start reacting with the ISO and cause all kinds of problems. The first step in that is making sure that the transfer pump is threaded and sealed into the drum. If your transfer pump looks like this one, you're not going to be able to get it threaded in. Those threads need to be cleaned and greased each time you move the transfer pump. That way the threads will still function properly. Once the transfer pump is sealed into the drum, then we still need to vent the drum. As you take fluid out of the drum, air has got to go in, but we don't want moist air in. We need to dry that air. We do that with a desiccant dryer. The way this works is the canister that threads onto the small hole in the other side of the drum. As the air goes through, it takes the moisture out and absorbs it. That way all we're getting is dry air into the drum that won't react with the isocyanate. The canister will have a little window on it that changes color when it's used up and can't absorb any more moisture. That's when it's time to change. Once we have that drum sealed and dry air in there, we'll cause a lot less problems in the rest of the system. My name is Ken Anderson with IDI Distributors. Thanks for watching.